Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have my cousin Trevor, aka Trey, aka getting this money. In, okay. I'll let them. <laughs> and we're going to do a haircut on him. It's going to be an even. Interesting. <laughs> I'm doing an even haircut on him with a beard trim, y'all. So this is what his hair looks like yeah. right now. So, y'all stay tuned. Okay. I, want the, I want the unedited version. You want the unedited <laughs> <laughs> To do a three guard against the green. You have to say. Hello, world. My cousin-in-law has something to say. What you have to say? Hey, world. Y'all subscribe to this channel. You know, just don't be watching for tips. Because there's so many people who go on your YouTube channel. They just watch. But, you know, support the cause. Hit the subscribe button. It's the red button that got a play button on there. We all know, living in 2017, how to work technology. So make it do what it do. Thank and you. I'm out. Thank you, precious. I know. Yeah, I'll let go. Yeah, I'll let go. <laughs> Trouble sleeping shit. <laughs> <laughs> he in that chair and he's sleeping. Stop for us. Yeah, I can't do it no more. Let can't him do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Precious? Oh shit! If I rap, it's gonna be about Kitty Boo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> rap about Kitty Boo. Da 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 da. I knew a Kitty. Da 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 da. Her name was Boo. Da, 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 da. That bitch peed on his couch. Da, 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 da. And it fucked me up. You got a rhyme though, you know? I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Ba, ba, da, da, da. <laughs> Her name was Boo. Da, 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 da. And if she ain't pissing, uh -huh. then that bitch is Boo Boo. Okay, okay. Not dissing your cat. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so right here, I'm going with the grain of his hair with the zero blade to even it out to make his waves lay down. This is how you keep the waves looking good, nice and crisp, like ocean waves. So I'm just going with the grain of his hair with the zero blade. As, as y'all can see, he has a lot of waves in his hair. So I'm going around each part of his head with the zero blade. So you have to keep, make sure you keep your hands steady so you don't cut off his waves or plug them so you got to be real careful how to do this when you're doing this I should say you see I'm riding the top the top of the waves right now I'm glad that my cousin trusts me you know in his head because he is knocked out and right now I'm just doing an edge up in the back of his head when you're doing an edge up you have to consider the customers neck so with his neck is it's, it's a little smaller so I want it to be a little pronounced so I left him square straight across and I rounded off the corners because you don't want to look like no box Right now I'm just doing an edge up on him in the front. He is really knocked out. <laughs> My cousin is really knocked out, y'all. So that's what I'm doing right now. Doing an edge up. I try to keep it natural because you have to ask your client how they like their hair. And he like his he don't like that hard, hard edge up on his hair. So I just keep it, you know, I give him a good edge up, but it's not I don't use razors, I should say. This is just a natural edge up with my my trimmers. See right now I'm just going in to 
to outline I like to outline my customers have first so I edge up everything and then I like to go back and and customize it even more my clients I should say not my customers he's a client of mine So I'm just outlining and I'm contouring according to his uh, according to the shape of his face. When it comes down to this kind of stuff, edging them up and lining them up and everything, um you want to customize according to their face shape. And what he's trying to do now is he want his under he want that beard to be longer in the front. So You'll see me. You'll see me do. Um, I think it's a two guard, or maybe yeah, two guard on his beard, so the front can stay long. I'm gonna do a two guard on his sides. I'm just edging up his his beard. Just giving him that clean old edge up. See right now you see me going in with my two guard. I edge them up and everything and so now I'm just, you know, fading away. Heaviness. You will see me use these guards over and over again because the hair grows in different directions. Right now, at the back, I don't know if y'all paid attention to how his back looked, but it was too bushy at the back. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just tapering him down. I'm going in every direction with the grain, against the grain. That's the way you get a smooth transition of a fade. Especially when it comes down to black hair. You got to go with the grain, against the grain with black hair to get the best fade. So right now I'm just walking all my guards down on him so I can take that bulkiness off the back. It's not a defined taper, but I just tapered it down to probably like a one and a half guard. And right now I'm just putting a little product in his hair to so the, so the waves can really be seen. And I'm going to put it in his beard. And this is the final look. Okay, keep turning, keep turning. And bam. That's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.